And now my new phrase is, you have no business doing business if you don't know how to notarize, okay? You yep. don't. Nope. You have no business if you don't know how to notarize, and you have no business doing business if you don't know how to notarize. That's right. Okay? So, let's be clear. That's still the foundation of anything. You cannot do, you cannot be a great apostille agent if you don't know how to notarize, okay? It's not required that you be a notary, mm -hmm. but you cannot be a great agent if you don't know how to properly notarize because if it's not done correctly then your thing your document's going to get rejected and a lot of times they may have went to another notary for one piece then they come to you for another piece of the transaction so you need to know how to do the whole thing and put it together okay so what else do we have what other questions do we have we can hang out a few more minutes um make sure we can answer as many questions as you may have um for next week we need to confirm what our schedules will be if it'll be sunday or monday um do you do everyone on the panel live in georgia yes we all live in georgia but queen as i always say <laughs> you know how to notarize my all of our documents do not come from georgia matter of fact the majority of them do not right the documents come from florida california um everywhere so your documents are international because we do international we do apostilles all of us and so our documents come from panama Costa i've had documents that i've had to uh notarize that were from africa they were not apostilles africa jamaica saint lucia yeah. i've had documents from puerto rico which is part of the united states but i've had documents from all different kind of places yep yeah. so that's how we teach you how to notarize any document including a piece of toilet paper if you missed the video go back and check it out I actually recorded that video finally. So you can even notarize a piece of toilet paper. And that's not from your state. Well, every state got toilet paper. <laughs> every state has toilet paper. Any additional questions before we start wrapping up? Okay, Joanne says, does Google Voice have a slow response time? Uh, personally, Joanne, I've been using Google Voice for four years now. And I haven't had like that much of a slow response time. I'm mm -hmm. trying to think of that has happened, but I really can't, honestly. It's pretty okay. The only thing I do have actually, <clears throat> some documents, like when someone tries to send me a document, like I know on iPhone, you can actually send somebody a PDF file via iMessage. Mm -hmm. um, but for whatever reason, if they try to send me a document through Google Voice, it does not come through. So I always have to tell them, hey, send me your email address. That's mm -hmm. probably the only bad thing that I could say about Google Voice. But other than that, it's been working perfectly fine for me. Me too. It's been working I great for I use Google me. Voice too. And one thing I love about Google Voice is actually that, so if you miss a call, because like I missed one while we were here, a client was trying to reach out to me, it'll actually send me an email message. Yep. And a transcript message, transcribed message rather. So mm -hmm. if they left a voicemail, it'll send it to you in an email form. So I actually love Google Voice. Yeah. Uh, and it's free right <laughs> free is uh, good. yeah uh what app do you use for your business phone number google voice yeah we all use google voice is what i use um daisy says kimmy is the book for connecticut it's not that complicated the latest one you have yes those books do, do not need to be updated um so it's state specific yes connecticut is good to go mm-hmm I am new and looking to learn it first before starting. Yes, yes. And, and this is what I'm telling my people in my success program, my coaching success program. As I'm teaching them, they're going through the, the classes, right? I have all the online courses for free. They can start, right? They don't have to wait until I teach something. They can learn what I've already pre-recorded. And then as we get to sessions and they can drop it into the chat, what they need so what i'm recommending that they do we're going to have a deeper conversation about this tomorrow night is our next session uh, we're going to as they're continuing to notarize i want them to have their supplies i want them to start doing their google page because they don't have to wait you know till we finish you know every session or every anything in order to get started but you need to have a basic foundation before you get started so it doesn't have to be that you do every single thing but sounds like you're just starting out daisy so yeah i'm gonna recommend you get the book and read that over it's a very quick read 
going to take you step by step how to start that business. Okay. Very good. All right. What else do we have? Anything else before we start wrapping up? Let's see. Lady, anything you want to add while we wait to, for a couple more comments? What was I going to say? Oh, I was going to just add the piece that kind of going back to was Queen. So, yeah, we all are in Georgia, but everything that we do, everything that you find on our website, it is meant for everybody, all 50 states. Mm -hmm. We have literally helped so many people across the country. I have people in California. We're cool now because they came through notary educators. Right. Upstate New York. I mean, we have people everywhere, literally Florida, Texas. I mean, I'll tell this quick story, Lexus. I already told Kim, actually. Mm -hmm. I was calling, I was looking for a notary in New York, actually, mm -hmm. and uh, to help me, assist me with the an apostille. And I finally got someone and we were just talking and, you know, I said, my name is Angela. I'm in Georgia. She says, Angela, Angela with notary educators. She's like, I thought that was your voice. So yeah. she's like, so we train people in all states and we've trained people in so many different states. Yeah. So it's not just for Georgia, it's for um, all states. And don't forget to join our free Facebook group. If you're not a part of that, Notary Educators has a Facebook group that's open to the public. Now our group chats that we've been referring to, those are strictly for the two mentorship programs. But um, other than that, you can definitely join the Facebook group. We do try to get in there. Sometimes it's, it's complicated that we can't because we know we're actually working also and working mm -hmm. the, the mentor program. But um, those comments first, but there are seasoned notaries in there that don't mind helping you um, also, okay? Um, let's see here. Lauren says, the only downside to Google Voice is robocalls sometimes. And uh, Lauren also said, nice presentation, ladies. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Thank you Lauren. Lauren. Yeah, um, the robocalls, the spam calls are becoming a little bit more than when I first started using it, quite frankly. But I'm getting those on my regular number oh, more than I used to. Say. I actually yeah. don't get any robocalls on my uh, Google Voice. I you get don't? A nope. On my well, I get a bunch on my other phone. On other phone. Yeah, right. my personal. Yeah, Google so it's actually getting people. kind of bad. What you say, uh, Alexis? I'm saying Google, I get more like business. Um, I don't know if they're fake calls or what people trying to do stuff with the website or they're trying to say, hey, yeah. you're a business. You need this, this, and that. Like, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. I don't get a lot of, I don't fake calls, but on my cell phone, I do get, it's kind of bad nowadays with the fake calls. They mm -hmm. first thing, all type of things. But Google Voice is fine. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I can complain. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Suzanne. Suzanne is part of the mentor program. She's part of my business success coaching program thank you so much i appreciate the kudos and yeah just read the reviews i'm, I'm asking the students to leave reviews i typically forget that <laughs> and it's so funny because i'm like ask your people for reviews i'm like i need to ask y'all for reviews too so if you've taken any product with us and have not left a review please leave a review because it does help people to see that you know the product is good um, that they will learn what they need and that we are, you know, really interested in helping them to grow their business. So let's give y'all a little update on each of us right quick and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, who wants to go first? I can go first. All right. <laughs> so I have been really busy with school and the mentorship program and my notary business. Mm -hmm. Business has been good, very good. Um, I mean, phone ringing nonstop. I don't know. I, I think it's because it's back to school, maybe. I know back to school, it always picks up. I get a lot of back to school stuff. But business has been good. Um, it looks like a lot of people are wanting iPod sales for some reason, which is amazing. No complaints there. But yeah, that's been my life. Those three things have been taken over. Um, yeah, that's, that's really been it. <laughs> So hopefully we get to see more of each other going forward. Right. And I'm like Alexis, uh, fortunately, my business has been really busy, but I attribute that to doing everything. Uh, I recently, probably about six months ago, added virtual assistant to my business. And that has been really good. But 